<laughs> I do apologize, my beloved. It was the Empress, my lord. Oh, there you are. Sound digestion and a clear conscience. Clarence! How the deuce did you do that? Sound like my sister Connie. Angela <laughs> is in tears again. Um, Your niece. Two weeks to go to the fat pig show, Connie, and look at her. Are we pleased with you? Yes, we are. Oh, yes, we are. When you have finished irradiating that pig with your imbecilic conversation, I would like a word. Uh, Sir Gregory Parslow Parslow's pig. Uh, what's her name? The Queen? She's not, in your opinion, fatter. Uh, Empress will be the winner, you'll see. Same as last year and a year before that. God bless my soul, my dear fellow. You're dressed for church. Well, I am going to worship, sir, at the church of the Goat and Feathers. Ah, well, say a prayer for me. Yeah. Here. Thank you, sir. None of your little recitations, mine. Trousers on legs and billowy portions, Cyril well beloved. Not the head. Oh, my little sister Lily is a tiny pig of tilly. My mother, she's an animal worse than luck. My granny looks her ass all around the elephant castle. There's nothing she won't do to get her. That will suffice. A disgusting display of public drunkenness. Clark, what's the maximum sentence the court will permit me to impose? Seven days. Fourteen days, sold. Oh, bloody Nora. Plus another day for profanity. But, but it's the Shropshire show. Sir Gregory, sir, your enormity. His lordship needs me to keep embers good and fat. Too ruddy bad for his lordship. Take him down. <laughs> There you are. <laughs> Eat up. A repast fit for a queen. <laughs> Sweetie pie, I entreat you. Just a little spoonful here. But, but, but it's banana. It's, uh, but darling, it, it, it's, it's, it's oh. banana. Cyril, well beloved, swears by banana. D -d Dash it, where is well beloved? Been unavoidably detained, my lord. Oh, he's not got himself locked up. This is no time for Wobble to be slacking about in custody. We need him! Sir Gregory's pig balloons in volume even as we speak. Beach, this is an emergency. Will have my permission to panic and run about screaming? Pretty good, my lord. Oh, Lord Heacham! I cannot understand the difficulty you're having. Don't touch me. If you touch me, I shall scream. Grasping the fact that I'm not going to marry you. You're a silly little nonsense, aren't you? No. Come here and kiss me. <laughs> Poor little scrap. Put her in the Shropshire show calling her fat. People will laugh. Cats! <laughs> Cats! <Prince! Prince! laughs> Splendid. Um, heard you calling. I uh, was able to find you, so I thought, what a capital idea to... Fling the servant's shoes around. Clarence, I need to talk to you. No. Mm. Now, keep lips shut. It stops the drivel coming out. Mm. What are you going to do about Angela breaking off her engagement to Lord Heacham? Heacham! Sir Gregory's nephew. Oh. <coughs> it's an eminently suitable match, but instead she professes love for the unpalatable Jimmy Belford. Oh, I like him. Well, they can't get married. It's out of the question. No, I mean, he's uh, in Africa, Australia. America. Yes. He found employment as a cowboy, whatever that is. But he is now back in England. Mm. Belford is without prospects. 
The marriage to him is not possible. Connie, I've got so many nieces. Can't you sort it out? Well, of course I could. But for primogeniture, I could sort out the entire family. But it is you who were born a man, or a vague approximation of one. No. You have to do it. <clears throat> Where are you going? If I'm to defeat Sir Gregory, I need to inflate the Empress. And it's no good pointing that chin at me either. Forget the pig. Administrate the family. Oh, and to top it all, Freddy is on his way. Um... Your son. Oh. Mm. Was traveling far too fast and on the wrong side of the road. Ah. Governor! Calorific bonus of the turnip. Oh well. Two weeks, Frederick, and it's all over. The Wiffle is the recognized authority, has no answer. I've tried slops, rotting pears, and she loves. The fruit that has seen the maggot. I... We're talking now about the Empress. Of course. My pig's ill. She won't eat. Oh, God. That's terrible. Hey, since when did you take an interest in her appetite? Since I bet 50 quid on her being fat as pig. Look, Governor, fact is, I find myself in Queer Street. I put a bit of crinkle into a show at the Pink Pussy Club, that the star being a lady I regard rather highly, and the damn thing closed. Frederick, are you penniless again? Huh? Oh. Anyway, I thought, how to extricate Frederick from this one? The governor's porker, romping in his fattest pig. So I touched Oofy for 50 smackers, banged him on at six to one, and here I am. Yeah, in Quire Street. Quite. <laughs> Trying to give the slip to that loathsome blister, Heacham. Curious behaviour, is it not? Are the betrothed and beloved? Heacham is not my beloved. He is a prig and a boar, and he has this hideous little moustache, like a maggot crawled onto his lip and died. Who is that? Uh, Angela, hiding from Heacham. Who's that? My father, hiding generally. Ah, now, I want a word with him. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, who's in your cousin, have you three put? Angela, blonde hair, framing a fat-headed head, bladder on a stick of fur. <laughs> what? I did not speak. Nor does this drawing room seem overstocked with Angela's. If I were you, Heacham, I'd go about my business. So, tinkety tonk. <laughs> Who wants a toot? <laughs> Throw Her Majesty a few of these jammy dodgers. Very fattening for a pig who needs to be fat. <laughs> Blanding's Castle. Are they all completely round the bed? Ah, oh, absolutely potty. The whole ruddy crew. <laughs> Loosen back the calories. If she doesn't win, then I shan't be able to pay back Goofy, then he'll have me assassinated, then I'll be dead, and Felicity won't want to dance with me anymore. Oh, uh, Felicity's the girl of the pink pussy. God, I'm rather gone on her. So what's the matter with the pig? Well, she's pining for me. She won't be fed by anybody else, not even his lordship. Cyril, take your clothes off. <laughs> There she is. Come on, Empress. Cyril. Cyril. <laughs> Pure fat. <laughs> Come on. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, yum, 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 yum. Mmm. <laughs> last crumb. <laughs> Broccoli. Broccoli.
Oh, good bloke. Pale face. <laughs> <laughs> Come for me. Oh, you're so stubborn. <laughs> well, I don't presently have a razor. Oh, I don't care. It's adorable. Why not? Where are you staying? Oh, around. I've ridden the range patootie pie with the hogs and the buffalo and the dang mules. Oh, darling. What are dang mules? Uh, they're mules. They're just a bit, you know. Dang. <laughs> Good. Now, listen to me, all of you. I have reason to believe we can expect an intruder, a certain undesirable person, Jimmy Belford, who is a cowboy, may seek to make contact with a member of the family. If you see anybody acting suspiciously... Sorry. Oh, it's you. Hello, Aunt. Frederick, when it comes to drooling idiocy, you take the cake. If there's very much more of this crushiness behaviour, do you know what I shall do? Yeah. I shall go to my room. I say, is there anything I can do about this fearful business? Uh, uncommonly kind of you, my dear fellow. But things are looking very black. According to Whiffle, she should be consuming daily nourishment amounting to 57,800 calories. Very specific, is he, on that? Rigorous, yes. As it is, she eats nothing at all. Just lolls around in her bed, flapping her palsy trotters. I'm giving very strong consideration to inserting a rubber pipe. Emsworth, hmm? I give you a fair warning. If you insert a rubber pipe into Angela, I shall take a very dim view. Why is she not eating? Angela! Angela eats like a ruddy horse. A boisterous appetite. Yes, yes, you're Heacham, aren't you? Yeah, well, the problem is very simple to grasp there. She's in love with somebody else. What? You see, you're going to marry him instead. At any rate. Whiffle speaks very highly of linseed. Worth a shot, linseed? My pig's very life may be in the barren. And... Curse all pigs. Damn and blast every pig in existence. Forgive me, my lord. I have been entertaining the magistrate's clerk in my pantry. I have been lubricating the gentleman with sherry. Beat your social life as your own affair. Seize the day. He has vouchsafed me the name of the justice who gave well-beloved a custodial sentence. It was Sir Gregory, my lord. Sir Gregory Parslow. Parslow. I see it all, Peach. It is treachery. Godless treachery. Do you see it? It is observed below stairs, my lord, that Sir Gregory is that crooked he could hide behind a spiral staircase. Oh, damn it all. Parslow has made a grievous howler. My dander is up. It is up, bitch. You hear? Up! I shall inform the staff, sir. Right. Bring me a contraption. Um, chain. Ding, ding. Rubber things go round and round. Bicycle! <laughs> I'm rather in the mood for a sticky willy. Uh, look here, Parzo. There's been raw dealings. Here's my pigment. Damn raw. Uh. Your pigment, sir, is a drunkard and a shameful exhibitioner of his own undergarments. Is there some kind of law against exhibiting undergarments? Of course there is, you fool. Oh, oh no, well, nevertheless, this is a rum do, stinker, a rum do. Enough! I will not have my magisterial office insulted. I'm not insulting your office, my dear fellow. I'm insulting you. Emsworth, you are dangerously cuckoo, and I have a mind to summon the assistance of Lord Heacham. He boxed for Harrow. Harrow? Yes, I guess he'd known corruption in his youth. Bad form, Buzzer. Bad form. <laughs> Which way is, uh... No. Oh. <laughs> so 
times like this, Frederick, uh, I wish your mother was still alive. She was so persuasive. She once put forth such a forceful case for beetroot, I actually put some into my mouth. <laughs> oh! Oh, there's someone there! Someone there! Who's that? Uh, Uncle Clarence, who, uh, please! Um, You're blinding him! Oh, my dear fellow, I, I, I do apologise. Oh, that's all right, sir. Uh, look here, Angela tells me about your pig. Apparently she spurns the trough. Why is that? Well, the pigman's been incarcerated and she's got a broken heart. Uh, I know how she feels. <laughs> because you're Lord Heacham. No, sir, I'm, I, I'm not Heacham. I'm, uh, I'm the other bloke, uh, Belford. Oh, you're the one I like. Well, you will like me a whole lot more when I get your pig back on the grub. What, do you think you'll be, uh, be able to make it eat? Oh, I can do better than that. I can teach you how to make her eat. Angela, this Mr. Belford of yours is... I know. What a wonderful, indispensable sort of person he must be. <laughs> Tell him, Jimmy. It's called the Universal Hog Call. Yes, 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 of course, of course. I've no idea what you're talking about. No pig will eat unless summoned by her pigman. His call is peculiar to him. Nothing else will do. However, there is, in extremis, a master word that can be used by anybody that will rouse her like that. I, I understand this, Belford. I beg you, tell me the word. Pig ho 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 Pig ho 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 uh, no, no, uh, not, not like that. Like this. Pig ho Pig ho Give a little more body to the who. Pig ho Throw your head back. The second syllable rises to a shrill falsetto and give it some gas. And there Pig. Oh, Emphasis asleep, wake her up. Oh, Peach, still up. Lady Constance would like to see you, my lord, at your convenience. Convenience be damned. <gasps> Belford. Peach, call the police. On what premise, your ladyship? Trespass, burglary. Loitering with intent to commit ravishment. Oh, good heavens. Um, <laughs> Lady Constance, if you'll permit me. Oh, I'll... assault and battery. Clarence, will you make Beach call the police? Uh, Beach, uh, be a good fellow, will you? And make yourself call the police? Very well, my lord. Clarence. Oh, no, no, Connie, no, please, no, please, please, I beg you, don't say those awful words. I am going. She's going to say it. Yes. To my room. Oh, dear. So, this thug attempted to lay violent hands on Lady Constance. I did no such thing. Silence! He did no such thing. Are you calling your Aunt Constance a liar? Ah, uh, look, Stinker. I mean, Sir Gregory. Uh, <clears throat> man to man. Fat pig wise. Jimmy's the only chance the governor has to square up to you in a fair fight. Have a heart. In you go. Room for a little in. <laughs> oh, Beach. Now, sorry to beard you in your lair. There's been the most colossal ding dong, and I cannot find the governor. Let him in, Beach. Behold your father, Frederick, the toad beneath the harrow. Oh, Governor. Oh, Connie is pretty baity just now, but... I'd I... completely forgotten it, you see. The universal summons. Right. Uh, well, I can't remember it either. Uh, we, we need to rally the family synapses. Sharpish. What's our first move? Small sherry, Mr. Frederick. Oh, God, yes, essential. Thank you. And, and beach, damn it, less of the small. Very well, sir. Right, come on, Governor. Uh... On your feet and give it your best shot. <clears throat> right, um. 
Peek hem aan. Oh, hallo. Voor God zeg, Henry. Ken een grip. Peek hem aan. Oh, child. Your pantry is obviously the spot for a mid-morning orgy. Angela, the universal call. Oh, there's no use asking me. I am but a feeble pawn in your desperate game. Beach, you do it. I do not summon pigs, my lord. Wait, 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 wait a tick. I think I've got it. Pig of the Jimmy Belfort's in prison. You're useless. I'm useless. You're a desperate prawn. Beach does not summon pigs. Very well. Let us consult the Empress. The perfidious Parslow shall not rob me of this triumph, Freddy. Never mind your ruddy triumph. What about my 50 quid? Clarence! Oh. I am come down. This imbecility regarding Jimmy Belfort must stop. <laughs> hey! Don't you hoy me. You're a gull and an oaf and an nincompoop. Nevertheless, I want to see me pig. Belford drooling over Angela right under your nose. It's impossible. The man was born to an unsuitable station in life, and the sooner he's reconciled to it, the better. That's all there is to be said. Well, I hate to disagree. Then don't. You know, if you two actually succeed in scuffering my marriage to Jimmy, I will hurl myself from the battlements. Splat! Fought his niece all over the begonias. Just for once, do something to deserve the name of Emsworth. Ah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I say, why don't I have a bit of a chinwag with Constable Evans? No? Yeah? But Constable is a ten year old mole from the Isle of Scrawn Sporran. Scrawn Sporran? Well, I never. Jimmy Belford. Jimmy Belford. If I release you, would you give me a word you'll return yourself to custard within the hour? Can I spend some of that hour kissing Angela? Oh, rather. But you must also talk to the governor about his... Pig. <laughs> wiggy, wiggy, wig. Pig who? A pig a hoo Pig hoo No, no, no. Definitely taking the scenic route on the arpeggio. You're cool, Uncle Clarence. Couldn't summon the skin off a rice pudding. <clears throat> Look and learn. Pig hoo wee oh wee oh wee oh wee Oh, oh my, 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 my dear, dear fellow, the Belford, be my guest and marry um, um, this one. <laughs> Congratulations, dear. Oh. <laughs> Capital. Right, 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 good. Well, uh, enjoyed our little chat. Mm. <clears throat> All prison is present and correct. Splendid. <clears throat> Did I, um... Suggest a plan of action that actually worked. Ha! Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Shropshire Supper. You may smirk, Sir Gregory. You may snigger. 
up your perjured sleeve, but you will rue your shabby conduct soon enough. Aha! Ready. That surprised you. Ready for what? A gypsy funeral? A carnival of grotesques? A convocation of imbibers of turpentine and methylated spirit? Don't entirely catch your drift. I shall continue snowing. If you wear that hat to the Shropshire show, I shall eviscerate you with a small blunt spoon ill-adapted for the purpose. Is there any point to what you're going to say? Mm. Hat, patrician bearing and chop chop. So, how's your pig as well? In the pink, Sir Gregory. Next we have our little wife, the Empress of Blandings. The winner of the fat pig is the Empress. <laughs> Connie, hello. Heacham, uh, I'm Lord Heacham. Uh, good for you, sir. Is everything being accomplished to my satisfaction and to the family's honour? Uh, I think so, my dear. Would you say so, Clarence? Uh, I, I would, my dear. <laughs> then how do you account for this? Well, a fellow can't be held accountable for another fellow's ill-advised moustache, you know. I come to give you formal notice, Emsworth, that I am breaking off my engagement to your niece. Which one? I, I have several, you know. Oh. Angela, the fat-headed one. Oh, well, well, that's all right. You can break off with Angela till the cows come home. She's marrying somebody else. Oh, well, that's fine and dandy. Uh, oh, um, Lord, is, uh, is that well, beloved? Oh, 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 well, beloved. Oh, you, oh, you're out of prison. Oh, Governor really is incorrigible. I, mean, I don't know what that means, but he's it. Anyway, his pig saved my bacon. <clears throat> now, it may still be in with a shout with felicity from the pussy. The lad running a book and which one of those goaty things is going to be the first to drop a you-know-what. Yeah, I fancy the spotty one been eating a heck of a lot of cabbage. And I'm in for a tenner. Do you feel lucky, I'll see? <laughs> <gasps> Angela! Come back here! Oh, I know just how you feel. She's in showroom condition, my lord. You took care of her. Grand of you to have me back. Nonsense. Mind you, well, beloved, what have you learned from this period of absence? When I see a pint of beer, I'm going to say, get thee behind me. Wouldn't that make it rather tricky to get hold of the glass? Hmm. There you have a point. Hmm. What have you learned, my lord? What have I learned? Oh, you... <laughs> More from Blandings next Sunday at the same time. Here's tonight's lineup Country File next from Hertfordshire. Then at eight, don't forget you can play along with the Antiques Roadshow thanks to their new app. And at nine, a mystery illness strikes Ripper Street and they're dropping like flies. <laughs>